I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday December the 1st 121 that's a big blackjack for a lot of the, the cattle sellers this week and, and a kind of a surprise figure we'd be going in with a steady market there's really been no indication of a higher market on the fat cattle trade this week other than your packers were a little bit short bought they'd had two weeks uh, maybe three of kind of a light volume in the five area feeding region and uh, we made it through the Thanksgiving holiday and expecting more product to be moving for a lot of the get togethers and parties and, and just uh, more people going out to eat and things during the Christmas holiday and the weeks leading right up to that. So uh, they came out aggressively on Thursday after being really quiet all week long and, and gave $3 more in the Southern Plains. Look at the board on Thursday, February live cattle down $1.62 at $124.97. December was down 57 cents at 119.90, which will lend about a buck to the hedged feeder on the basis there. January feeder cattle down $1.40 at 154.17. Like I said, you look at the fats down in Texas, uh, $3 higher, 121. Uh, that's an impressive market here after being so quiet early in the week. Didn't notice that they had Mexican origin steer sell at 121 also. And, uh, you know, I know that we like to push uh, genetics and top quality. Uh, the Mexican cattle are better than they were, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Some of them actually have too much muscle anymore. Uh, got a lot of continental breeding, but they're better cattle than they were. You can't hardly kill one. And uh, they respond to the medicine better. And uh, like in, in my country, in the Southern Plains, guys that are getting Mexican cattle in for wheat pasture, uh, they are having a better time as far as death loss than, than the guys that are getting cattle out of the southeast or even uh, local native cattle. Kansas sold fats on Thursday two to three dollars higher, 120 to 121. Uh, and the Northern Plains, Nebraska sold dressed steady to two dollars higher at 190. There was also some Iowa sales at 190, but uh, we haven't seen a live market in the Northern Plains yet. It'll be interesting to see what that is been running a buck or two premium to the Southern Plains, but not sure if they're going to be able to squeeze any more out of the market this week with a lot of cattle selling in the Southern Plains. But look at the slaughter so far for this week. It's been pretty impressive, 477,000. Hard to measure against last week due to Thanksgiving, but compared to a year ago, it's 17,000 more. Your actual address steer for the week ending November the 18th come in at 902 pounds and we've been setting right there at 900 or a tick over here for the last few weeks. Box beef cutout values were down significantly for the second day in a row. Choice cutouts $204.64 that's down $1.91. Selects down $1.63 at $184.21. Word on the street is that uh, JBS has come to an agreement to sell the Five Rivers cattle feeding operation to someone. Nobody has uh, really uh, spoke up to say who that is. It's kind of a top secret deal, but uh, a lot of people have heard that it has gone through and that the, the new owners are, are already setting things up to go ahead and, and start operations or take over operations, I should say there. But uh, you can bet it's someone that is willing to work a, a deal with JBS and, and sell all the cattle that come out of those five river yards to JBS and and if it's not it's going to be someone from another major packer and then that major packer will be trying to buy those plants that JBS has and I'm not sure if that empire of JBS is is that close to crumbling I know they've had a lot of problems in their in their native land but uh, as far as over here in the United States uh, they've been pretty well going right along but uh, it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out and if it affects our markets at all but look at your uh, feeder cattle market on Thursday real-time index ended the day at 155.41 that was down about 11 cents uh, but your your markets were really good uh, compared to a week ago just like they have been all week long uh, Salina Kansas uh, farmers and ranchers livestock had over 3,000 head there and uh, didn't have a sale last week, of course, because it was Thanksgiving Day. But you look at some of those quotes, impressive and, and uh, needless to say, to say higher on all classes there. But 385 steers averaged 644 pounds in the six weight category at 164 and a quarter. 
275 head of steers in the seven weights average 737 at 15396 and look at those eight weights over 300 head of eight weight steers averaging 841 at 15345 Pratt Kansas had a good sale too 5500 head to market there firm to five dollars higher looking here on Friday if you're looking for some cattle and, and some active markets that'll that'll be going on on Friday uh, Ozarks Regional Stockyard in West Plains Missouri I'll be stopping by there to check on some things but they've got a special pre-vac value added feeder cattle sale and have a good offering there and uh, some some really good cattle especially for the Southern Plains feeder uh, you get up further in the Northern Plains Wahoo Nebraska is having a special feeder cattle auction uh, they'll have a good uh, test of the market there and then some really good springborn calves there. Burwell, Nebraska is having another big sale and they just had a big sale there uh, last week but they have another big sale and you can check out all those sales on dvauction.com and uh, check those out. Look at some individual quotes here. Pratt, Kansas on Thursday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Talk about a calf quote. How now just to give you an idea how hot these these light steers are still in the southern plains. 104 head of 519 pound steers bring 195 in Pratt, Kansas on Thursday. Look at what some big steers can bring in the northern plains with farmer feeder help. Columbus Sales Pavilion in Columbus, Nebraska, two o'clock on Thursday sold 156 head of steers that weighed nearly a thousand pounds at 997 pounds at 163 and a quarter. That's your feeder flash for Friday.